Welcome to Bowser Training Liquid Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. Uh, just to be clear, since we have more and more subscribers, uh, our mock interviews are conducted. Everything is in English, so um, you don't you don't you don't have to um, to speak Chinese to participate in a mock mock interview. Actually, our price is only one ninety nine for three mock interviews. Uh, each is one hour plus a half an hour debrief, which is the most valuable part compared to other interview platforms that charge you $200 for simply just one hour. And all of our interviews are from top companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, did I mention Google? I forgot, but, and also hot startups like Uber, Airbnb, Snapchat, Zenefits. Um, okay, and you, if you happen to read Chinese, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog here. We have like um, constantly publishing interview related news, but you have to read Chinese for that. And another thing is we are actually um, at March 26th and 27th, we're we are going to have this um, weekend algorithm classes that is more like a uh, emphasis on problem solving. And this is this class is in Chinese only. So feel free to subscribe. And uh, if you are previously conducting a mock interview before or other kind of, you know, just those kind of online judging courses, um, your price is only $49 for entire two days, which is very, very cheap. Um, okay, so let's go back to today's problem. Another easy problem, very standard and a classic one called string to integer A to I. Essentially, this is implement A to I to convert a string to an integer. And this is a very, very, um, you know, it's kind of like those kind of questions that sounds very easy, but many, many edge cases and really uh, test your ability to whether you can think very carefully uh, because in real world we don't really write so so much so many complicated algorithms anyway right um, if you are familiar with C++ you know this is a very standard method uh, A to I means if 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 you have uh, for example white space we'll just uh, trim it and if you have additional characters they will just return you the characters that a uh, that is uh, valid the sum is valid before that so what I mean by that is um, so, for example, if you have a method one, um, one, two, let's say a two one three one, so you will return twelve because a is the first invalid character, and it's same thing because it's integer. If you have one two, uh, twelve point three is a double, so you will still return twelve. And if you have lots of spaces beforehand or uh, after, afterwards or before uh, beforehand, it doesn't really matter. And uh, also here, if you notice, is um, if the converted value would be out of range of, of uh, uh, representable values by an integer, which is to the power of uh, uh, 31 minus 1, it causes undefined behavior. And leak code here, because the online judge has to clearly define the, operate, um, the behavior, which is if no value co conversion could be performed, a 0 will be returned. But if the value is out of the range, um, it's a such a large number. If it's a positive, you should return int dot maximal or if it's a uh, negative you should return into dot dot uh, minimal. So that pretty much if it's a super large number, right? So you just return you just need to have the signs. And uh, and you have to calculate it beforehand, not afterwards. Because when you already overflow you don't really know, right? So it's like whenever you have the current value you're trying to look ahead and say, hey, I'm at a, for example if I if I'm already at a two to the power of uh, 31 minus 2, so I need to calculate ahead. Say, hey, oh, if I calculate the next time, I'll be overflow, so that's why I should just directly return because it's already a large number. Um, okay, so that's that. And another thing is, so what do I want to talk about? Oh, so if nothing, for example, this is uh, ABC, so you should just return 0 because it's not valid anyway. Um, yeah, so what other edge cases? Y space, we talked about that. Invalid characters, so we just kind of uh, return the ones we already have as the current value. Oh, that's pretty much about it. Let's quickly code it up. It's not hard. Like I said, it's just purely just painful, if you would call that. Okay. Um.
so what we're gonna do is we need to determine the sign, right? This will trim both the head and tail. So we're just uh, if it's just a sign, don't need to do anything else. Indentation doesn't seem to be see why it's automatically in the step. So this is my index. So my index will be if this sign as long as not equal to zero. So I'll start at one if it is zero. I'll start at zero. So if nothing happens, so the sign instead of zero should be one, right? Okay, so I think normally when we're trying to solve this problem, you could use a long to replace to if you're trying to calculate the int to um, to check the overflow problem, you could use a long. And but people can challenge you, hey, if you're how about if you're doing a long? So what you are you gonna use? Use a long long, but then what do you use? A big integer. So um, but for this problem we can just use an integer. Uh, in this case, it's more like this. Not a digit, we'll just return like this. Else, So if you have, uh, we never talk about the normal case, right? but one, two, three. So we're at index zero. So we'll just keep shifting the values. So times ten, and let me say doing this. Okay. And if in this case, this result times this sign already larger than integer of max value, so 
you're trying to edit more than 10, right, or easier decrease it. So um, if at this stage you're larger than that, it means you're, you're just overflowed. So let's double check the logic, okay? So first of all, we check something. We do 2 a.m. We have length. So it is either this or this. It is return zero. So sign is equal to zero, one minus one, and starting index. And uh, if the sign is not equal to zero, so starting index should be one. Skip the the sign. So now we just check if it's not DJ, we we'll just directly return all else. We'll just keep having this value and uh, doing this. And then this times sign. So if it's already overflowed. So at this moment, the result could already be overflowed. Already can work for so if I do this, would that, would that be correct? Because in that case, it's already, I still have to use a long for this case. So all else already, this will already be overflowed. I I will not know. So this is a long uh, cast it. Okay, let's see. Now we can compile. So let me just copy this thing right back here. So if it is minus one, so the output will be one, and expected will be minus one. So how come? Let's try to see it. Minus one, trim it. Then it's not equal to one. Sign equals to one. Oh, why always one? This is totally wrong. So if it's a zero, so this will be the default, right? Yeah. Yep, that would be it. See, it's not uh, it's it's not hard, but it's just a little bit annoying, right? All right, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.